guys, it's Missy Nelly here, and welcome back to another episode of Tales of Vesperia. In the last episode, we arrived in the throne room, and what a throne room it is. Take a look at it, it's so awesome. Anyway, we're just standing here, and the guards are doing such a terrible job at, jo at guarding this place. And I'd kind of like to point something out and kind of note something. I feel so terrible, but I forgot to identify a monster. Yeah, I, I'm just face palming at myself. We forgot the X-Beak, the airsick one, so I'm not going back for that. I'm sorry, my, my save file goes like way back and I don't feel like playing through all that again just to get one monster under my file. So this is what it looks like and it likely has similar stats to the other airsick monsters. So that's just something to keep in mind that we don't have right now. And it's really too bad, but oh well. Anyway, moving on. Let's go ahead and check this door. From one to four, front to back, dark to light, stray from this and disaster shall follow. Well, isn't that ominous? Anyway, if we come over here and look across this wall, we see a bunch of pictures of an angel. Of, or angels with different amounts of wings. If we read this, the first door shall open when she with the tiny wings smiles gently in the darkness. Okay, and we have a picture of an angel with one pair of wings, and this one has two pairs. The second door shall open upon the span of two pairs of wings. We shall weep beneath the sharp rays of the light. Okay, and then three. The third door shall open upon the span of three pairs of wings. Her reflection shall appear in the shattered half-body mirror. And the very last one... The fourth door shall open with a span of eight wings. A ring of light shall shine above her, the child of the full moon. Isn't that kind of creepy sounding, actually? But, it, this is really kind of cool. I like this. You can see that this is a new moon, crescent moon, half moon, and then a full moon. So this is supposed to be the child of the full moon. So we're solving a riddle that's based off of, pretty much, Estelle. So anyway, let's come out here. It's not so much of a puzzle as it is just hitting the right things in the right order. We'll get to that in a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and use a holy bottle so I don't have to bother with stuff. See, so you walk right past this murder. Let's go in here. And... Go all the way up to the top, and we have a little hallway back there. Now, look at this. She has one pair of wings. So let's go ahead and check it. Command the heavens with the power of the ring. When she with the tiny wings smiles gently in the darkness, the first door shall open. That's what it said in the first place. So there we go. And there we go. We are done with that one. Check this. Limit bottle. And check this. Breaker bow. Let's go ahead and check Raven's thing. Anyway, um, I'm, I will note that if you hit the wrong statue, or if you hit it out of order, then special... Oh, okay, I get it. I get it. Um, TP condition 2... I don't really care. I want the attack. Um, if you hit the statue out of order, like you, if you go for the 8 pair of wings first then you get into a battle that you cannot run from. So you will want to get this right on your first go. Anyway, let's go out here. And you know what? There's actually a monster here that we haven't fought yet. I believe this one should have another type of monster. So we're going to go ahead and fight this really quick this doesn't look before good. anything else. Ready for anything. Is it? Is it the right one? No, it is not! Let's say! Must say! Oh well, okay. Uh, this works out anyway. Because you know what? I'm going to go ahead and use a limit bottle because it's piling up. There we go. And we are going to take, take control of Judith. We've seen Rita's new mystic art, but we have not seen Judith's yet. Okay, now over limit, all three of them. Um, what am I doing? Uh, right, checking this. Uh, I want to do Luna Rondo. Where is this? There we go. Okay. What? Come on. Okay. Oh, come on! What, what, what is wrong with this here? Maybe I actually have to hit her. Uh, you know what? what? What is an easier one to hit? Uh, let me think about this for a second. 
Luna Gale! Yeah, that'll work. I am terrible with using Judah. I'm just gonna hope that this actually hits. Yes! Aha! Mr. Gar! Receive your punishment! Radiant! How was that? Well, wasn't that awesome? It only targeted is, is actually is this the only thing I'll, no, I should have I probably should have went for that group right there, but oh well. That's what a new Mystic Art looks like. It looks like it's more single target than say Rita's. Rita's just blew everything up. I will say I really like the colors of it though. Like a lot. There we go. Uh, I really wish I could get better with using Judith, but I don't know. I, I just I just really can't get used to her. Uh, let, let's try this, actually. Okay. Okay. Woo! Yes! Okay, that was sweet, actually. Okay. Okay. Ah, uh, dang, I couldn't do that right. Now I'm just kind of flying around. Ah. Uh, okay, never mind. Back to Yuri, because I suck at using her so bad, and the computer wasted all of my TP. Okay. There we go, we're done with that. Hopefully I can actually find the monster that I was talking about before. That was probably it up on the higher level, but oh well. Anyway, uh, we want to go west. And then south. And then once more, west again. Yes, you have to do it in this order, else it doesn't count, by the way. Let's hit this. The Crescent Moon. We can see it shining up there now. What does this say? Okay, yeah, we, we've already read that. So if you didn't know where all these things were, you would be totally, totally lost. I swear, uh, when I first played this game, and I was in the throne room, and I was trying to figure out what to do. I wasn't using a guide. Oh god, I could not find any of them. Especially the ones in this room, because it, they don't really make it obvious that there's rooms on the side of this one. Because look, it's like right off the camera, you can't really see it. So, yeah, it's, it's really confusing if you don't know what to do. Like, really confusing. But thankfully, I know what I'm doing. Somewhat. Somewhat. Now come up here. I'm gonna go ahead and grab these first. We have a Vagabond plus one. And one th 15,000 gold. Nice. Awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and give her P this Vagabond plus one. Scanning. Scanning? What is that? Hmm. Uh, actually, I'm kind of curious what that is now, because I, I don't recognize that one. Uh, item pro 2 and scanning. Displays remaining HP over an enemy with magic lens. That sounds interesting enough. Okay, now we have this one right here. Three pairs of wings. Only then will the third, third door open. There we go. Half moon. Alright. Now we have that one activated. Now we only have one left. Now... The other one is a little bit out of the way. You have to go a little bit further for this one, actually. We've seen it earlier in the game, if you guys remember. Um, it was like right at the very start of the, of the game, when we were exploring the castle for the very first time. We actually ran into it back then. And it is not coming in handy until right now. Look up there, remember? There's the prison down there. If we just go north, instead of going all the way to the prison, here we go. Check it. When all eight wings are spread, a circle of light shall shine above the child of the full moon, and the fourth door shall open. So there we go. We are now done with this puzzle. Thank God. Really, I, I don't really care for running around all over the place, honestly. Okay. So, we want to go back to the throne room now, and the door shall be able to be opened. Just come over here, up, and then just cross over one more room. Nope. You know, I think that this is the monster that I missed, so let's go ahead and fight this really quick. Watch my back. Uh, trans murder. Yes, I knew there was one more. I'm not missing another monster, thank you. 
Level 47, 20,650 HP. And well, let's just go ahead and beat it up. It's just like all the other murders. There's nothing really special about it. I think it kind of looks cool, but hey, okay, it's just me. Uh, I just noticed that Yuri is pretty weak. I probably should have went and beaten some outdated Curry! I don't think I got that fatal strike, but it hit this one on the side anyway, so I'm not complaining. Okay. Just keep on going. No. You. You. No, 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 no. That got all of us. That got every single one of us. And I barely avoided death right there. I was like 1 HP left or something along those lines. Bam. Okay. Okay, and done. That wasn't too bad. Now, you know what? I kind of changed my mind. I am going to go back to eat some curry. Some year-old curry. Anyway, I know this episode is being cut a little bit short, but I think we are going to call it quits here. I will see you guys next time. Masina out.